right guys, welcome back to the kitchen. I know, two giant foods episodes in a row. That is like unheard of. But I know you guys love them and I love making them. So uh, we're back with another subscriber sponsored giant foods episode. Cliff Hazlitt coming in clutch again, sponsored what he wants to consider the biggest jambalaya he's ever seen. Now I've never made jambalaya, so I'm gonna give it my best effort. Now remember, don't take the cooking super, super serious because I like to have a little bit of fun with it. So uh, let's put some jambalaya together. Alright, Mr. Poole, so uh, got some chicken broth here. We're going to get our stock going. We're going to uh, get this in there. Well, like I said, I've never made this before, so I'm going to give it. I found a recipe online, and that's what we're going to use. So we've got our broth in, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut that broth. Just gonna go ahead and cut this broth a little bit. A little bit of water. And we got uh, salt, pepper, garlic going in. About that much. Also calls for cayenne pepper. This is uh, brand new, so I gotta bust open the seal on this. We'll get this opened up. Put some cayenne going in. Make her extra spicy because you know I'm not a spice guy, but we're gonna use it. Because we are. And peppers, so we got some peppers going in, we got some onions going in. And uh, I at least uh, volunteered to cut up the celery, so there's that. You chew it and then you throw let it, it slide you in throw it in the oil. trash because it's grew. I don't uh, know exactly how much celery I'm going to use because I don't really even like celery that much. And I'm going to uh, I don't know exactly how much celery I'm going to use, Mr. Poole. Should probably make it match with uh, peppers and onions I put in. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Some, uh, some sausage here. You know the dogs would love that. Let's see what I'm gonna do, man. That's, uh, I don't know what the difference is in doule. You know what that is? I have no idea. What that yeah, what's the... I'm gonna have to look it up. It kind of tastes like ring balloons. Two rings of this, Mr. Pool. You never can have enough sausage. <laughs> meat salad. You never have enough meat salad. I got to uh, balance out all those vegetables that I put in there with some meat. Some meat salad. Go ahead and drop a couple of these in. And honestly, I can't uh, can't make my own rice, so I have to use it in a bag. You be like, oh, but you didn't make the rice. I'd be like. Supposed to make a break. You could try. Huh? You could try. So we got a uh, five bags of rice in. Five bags of rice. See if this your chickens cuttable yet. I, I don't. Uh, I don't know if my chicken's going to be. Oh, it is cuttable. Get our chicken in. We'll let this all boil together 
think it's going to be delicious. Also help this chicken cook really fast, being that it's all cut up, it'll boil fast. You know what I mean? This last one here. So we basically got everything in our pot. I'm using soap because last time I just rinsed my hands off with water. They're like, oh, it doesn't clean your hands. Oh no, you're right, it doesn't. But there we go. Oh, sorry, 20 seconds between each thing. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is what we have so far. If Mr. Poole would himself so trying to uh, Pan across here. We got the uh, got the basis in here. Look at that. There's the base. Once that puppy starts to boil, we're gonna be in business. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer the rice into here, and then we're going to mix it after because we just don't have a pot big enough. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're going to do a little transfer of all the rice into here, then we got our pot boy one over here. We're going to transfer all together and mix it. Free roach. You afraid? A free roach! Everybody knows what that is. It's whatever the rice grows in. Rice grows, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... Should have looked at that there. Jambalaya. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it does. Definitely got a good, good smell to it. Um, we did, we, I definitely cooked it out of order. I won't lie. I did it, I did it my own way. I will admit. I I did, it turned out all right. I definitely went, up, yeah, but I definitely went about it my own way. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah, regardless, I mean, it's, it still turned out. It still, it still turned out exactly how we had anticipated it would, but uh, it, we just, we went about it a little bit different, that's all. We just, we went about it our own. If you guys are familiar with South Park, it's my baddie do wham. So, anyways, there it is. Um, a massive two gallon bowl of jambalaya and garlic toast um, for Cliff Hazlitt. I appreciate you, Cliff. Here's your challenge. Uh, just uh, trying to catch up on these giant foods episodes. Um, you know, normal life definitely takes precedence but uh, I want to get these subscriber videos out to you guys so here's your uh, giant jambalaya cliff and I hope you enjoy the video yeah, guys as you saw in the previous clips mr. pull myself went ahead and put together this jambalaya now I know I went against all conventional methods and uh but uh i actually still turned out the chicken and sausage gumbalaya with some bread uh garlic bread here like cliff requested um like i said cliff i appreciate you sponsoring this video and uh this looks delicious i've i don't know if i've ever actually had jambalaya like made like this i've had it in a bag you know like uncle ben's or whatever but uh this is my take on it and like i said don't take the cooking part too serious. We like to have a little bit of fun and goof around when we're doing it. Um, I'm going to give this thing a few minutes to cool down, then we're going to get into it. All right, so we gave this thing a few minutes to cool down. Of course, like all giant foods, it's like molten lava. It'll probably melt my face Ah, uh, But, uh, you know, we want to start because we got bread back here. It's going to get hard to eat, and uh, we'll start at the top layer. So without further ado, 
the biggest jambalaya bowl. Oh, listen to that. It's like a brick. And three, two, one. We're jambalaya. Like I said, I got chicken and I got sausage in here. Healthy vegetables. Healthy vegetables, Randall. Look good. Like I said, I don't have any to compare it to because I've never actually had it before. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Garlic loaf. Not like that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Can't complain. I got my bread a little crunchy. I got to eat this entire loaf of bread with it. Comment below if you've ever made jambalaya. Or comment below if you've ever eaten jambalaya. <clears throat> I believe jambalaya is supposed to be dry. Of course, Mr. Poole said it's supposed to be dry, so it's dry. Very tight in our face. Oh. Uh, little crisp. I wasn't even in here long. Like five minutes. It wasn't on a sheet though, it was just on the rack. A little hot. Culture, Chicken breast and stuff, <clears throat> it's got all that cayenne seasoning in it. That's good. It would definitely be something I would make on the normal. It's a good eat. Comment below if you guys enjoyed the uh, team breakfast challenge I did for Giant Foods in the last episode. I think Molly had a good time too. Who thinks Mr. Pull me should do one of you? The world's biggest grape and jelly, grape jelly peanut butter thing. That's correct. 
Now wait a minute, I'm going somewhere with that. We could dress up like the grapist. <laughs> Open wide, guys, cause I'm gonna grape you in the mouth. One of the things I put in here is super, super, super spicy. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. There's still a lot in there because it's making my nose burn. Very paprika has a little spicy taste too. Mm-hmm. That sausage has something in it too. Combination, the spice and the, the heat start to make me sweat. Mr. Pool must have snuck some of the end in here. I probably wouldn't be able to finish it if you put some in here. Mm -hmm. fried. A lot. Wow. It's starting to cool down, but not much. Just about the right wetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any dryer, and you will be able to swallow it. Goes down pretty easy. Could you squirt me a little more of that cola there, Mr. Bull? Oh, to wipe the sweat off me. Steam not, you know, it's still not as hot as the uh, um, KFC bowl that I made. I think it was stupid. So there you have it. A little over 16 minutes for a uh, huge jambalaya challenge. Wow. That's spicy. My lips are on fire. And uh, my body's on fire because it was blazing hot. But like always, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Giant Foods. And shout out to you, Cliff, for sponsoring this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to sponsor something, there's an email down in the description. You can contact me. We'll go back and forth, see if we can come up with an idea. And until next time, make sure you just 
I don't recommend you eat a bowl this big. This is two gallons. I just recommend you just get a single serving of jambalaya and eat it. I, I would. This this is a lot. You could take this to like a like a picnic, but don't eat it by yourself. Take it easy.